Hi, good morning, how are you guys? So I've had a few questions about concealer, so I'm gonna show you a little video how to apply. So I'm taking the mattifying powder, you can see it's white, and I just take a little bit on my brush and I'm going to prep my eyes. And actually, I do it all over my face too before my foundation because it really helps to set my foundation. Okay, so next, once that's prepped, this is our Beauty Counter Concealer. And it's a pen, so it pumps. So I'm gonna show you how I apply it. So I'm gonna do a few pumps and then I use this all over flat brush by Beauty Counter. You can see the tip, see how flat that is? Okay, so what I do is I draw vertical lines going down. Okay, then I take a line and I go across the bottom of my eyelid and you can hear me pumping. And then I also do the corners of my eyes because those do get dark, so don't forget that. And then I take and I bring it up on top because a lot of people, they'll experience like red veins or spider veins and um, that can really darken up the light eyelid and make us look older than what we really truly are. So I'm gonna put the concealer down. I'm picking up the flat brush and I'm going to start blending. And I find this works so much better than just using your fingers. It applies smoother. It just really makes a difference when you use a brush to get a nice, even application. So you can see how bright my eyes are really. And I pat, like, I'll get darkness right here or shiners like a little bit of puffiness and I just pat lightly to keep the concealer there in a little bit more of a heavier fashion okay all right other side so you can see I have it underneath and what I love about beauty counter is we take out over 1800 toxic ingredients and our makeup, our personal care items. We do advoca advocacy work in Washington to get the laws changed. I'm just so inspired by this company and I'm feeling really inspired <laughs> with the concealer today. So you can see I'm just blending, I'm not really dragging, but I'm blending it in. See? not too shabby so sometimes this is all I do this is all I do is the concealer now note I have already prepped my eye my eyebrows and I use this brow gel and it's in the color light I'm blonde but I like my eyebrows just a little bit darker and I feel like I can get away with it so there's a little brush on it and you just follow the shape of your brows we all need probably an eyebrow wax by now, but that's okay, I can kinda cheat a little bit. So you can see with that concealer how nicely it applies by just using this all over brush. You can also use this, I have two of these, you can also use this, which is incredible for all over the eyelid of your base color with your um, eyeshadow, which is really cool, our eyeshadow stays on like for almost 18 hours, it's incredible, but not 18 because I want you to wash your face morning and night. So the other thing is, is our eye makeup remover. This is just a little sample piece, but this, we won awards for this. This, my ophthalmologist recommended it to me before she knew that I was a beauty con counter consultant, which was really cool. But she recommends this to all of her eye patients because it's so gentle and there's no chemicals in it and it just, your eyes don't sting, it beautifully takes off the eye makeup so easily. So I just thought I'd show you a little bit of the concealer piece, how to apply our eye makeup remover. 
And then I used the mattifying powder, which was this to prep my eyes, and the eyebrow gel with the flat brush. I hope you guys have a great day.